sorry about that. I wasn't recording because I do have a couple of people that were not able to attend today. So I am recording so that they can see what we did. So I'm just gonna, after this, I will go over that real quick. So let's just finish our story. Pick up rocks, smash dirt clumps. Mr. Toad shows off his jumps. Dig small holes, use the hoe, let our peas have room to grow. Drop the seeds into the row, push dirt over with your toe. Hungry crow spots a treat, uh-oh. That's always something we have to worry about when we're planting a garden is the uh, animals, the birds, the rabbits, the deer, they always want our yummy vegetables that we plant. Go find ants and worms to eat. That's the running after the crow, get out of here. These old plants, this old shirt. Make a scarecrow stick in the dirt. Do we know what a scarecrow does? Does anybody know what a scarecrow does? It scares all those animals away. Get out of here, animals. Working hard, hot sun, pew. Every time we put in a garden, it's always hot out, I feel like. Water garden, and you too. Why not? Read our sign, seeds in the ground. Peas are growing, please step around. Don't step in our garden. You guys are doing a great job painting. Farm stand trip, popcorn to munch. We eat carrots by the bunch. Buzzing bees, backyard swing, see our garden, hello spring. Okay, it looks like you all are still painting a little bit. So we will um, give you that time. Um, does anybody have a garden at home? Can anybody tell me? Oh, Nicole, if you guys wanna unmute yourselves, we can talk about gardening. Nicole has a garden at home. Nicole, do you have a garden at home? Oh, honey, I can't hear you. She's un she's unmuted, but I can't hear her. Hmm. We'll come back to you, Nicole, okay? Uh, Jackson, did you say you have a garden at home? You, can you unmute, unmute yourself? Here, I actually can unmute you, I think. Let's see. Evie yeah. have a gar Evie has a garden at home. Evie, do you have a garden? No. Yes, you do. <laughs> do you have a garden at home? Do you water with your grown-ups? Here, Evie, come on up. Connor says he has one too. Wow, you all have gardens. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty pretty awesome. So you kind of know what you're doing here. I'm working with some experts here today, right? Are you guys all experts in gardening? Are you a garden expert? Yeah. So if you're done painting, you can, um, I, I see Connor's got some wipes. You could go, you could take a minute and go wash your hands. That's totally fine. We have plenty of time. Um, if you, Nicole, are you ready to move on? Nicole looks like she's pretty close. Wow, she's got, she's looking good. Evie's looks good. Uh, Jackson, are you ready to move on? You got to go wash your hands, it looks like. Okay. All right, we'll give everybody a minute. Let me just make sure nobody's waiting to get in. Okay, for the, I'm just gonna make a little announcement to those that I have to record this for. The only step that we did not record is just painting the outside of your, um, your little cup here. So while we were, um, the, kid, the kids were part painting this, I was reading a story. So all we're doing is painting the outside of this little cup here. 
that is um, gonna be the container that our plant goes into. And then we're gonna set it aside and let it dry. So the other thing I will tell you all is it might not be dry by the end of this program. So if it is not, we I will tell you what you'll need to do. And I'll also send your grownups an email so they know what to do so that they you can put your stickers on at the end. So it looks like mine is almost done here. Looks like everybody else is almost ready to move on. We're just going to wait on Connor to come back. Does, uh, okay. Looks like Nicole, yours is red. Evie, what color is yours? Is yours red? Yeah. Tell her she asked you what color yours is. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. She's asking you what color your pot is. What color is your pot, Evie? Um, red. Jackson, what color is yours? Oh, can you hold it up? Oh, I'm sorry. She's got a big little baby. Green. Oh, that looks so good. Look at the little baby. Um, oh, look at that little baby. Yeah, you guys can all yesterday. keep yourselves unmuted, okay? Because we're going to talk a lot. Born the day before yesterday. Oh my gosh, what? Your yeah. baby, is it a boy or girl? It's a girl. Your baby sister was born the day before yesterday? Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Well, I'm so glad that you're here with us with all that going on in your house with a new baby. That's awesome. And my birthday is... um. I think is it coming up September 15th wow yeah that's not far away my birthday is in September too mine's um in summer oh okay okay cool all right friends it looks like everybody is ready to move on to the next step, next step. okay what you're gonna take is your empty cup does everybody have an empty cup and the other thing, I you have another cup there. You should have two cups. Do you have two cups? Yeah. That other cup, I need you to fill up about halfway one. with water, unless you already have water there. I just need you to fill it up halfway no, with water. All right. So you'll have one empty cup and one ha filled halfway oh. with water. So do you see mine? I have one with water and one without. Oh. All right. It's the same thing, don't we? One with water and one with help. Yeah, so everyone should have an empty cup and one with half water. Okay, it looks like everybody has their water. Awesome. You are going to take this little disc pellet here, this brown disc. Wait till you hear what she says. Yep, we got ours. Okay. It looks like Connor's getting his out. Jackson's getting his out. And you're going to put it inside the empty cup. Can you put it inside the empty cup? Empty cup. Put it in the empty cup. I add, I gave you two discs just in case somebody put it in the water cup. So you, that's extra if you need it. And you have lots of seeds if you end up wanting to plant some more cucumbers. But that's what these are. We're making cucumbers. So you have your empty cup. Water. With a disc inside. Who likes cucumbers? Me. I, Me. I like Does everyone like cucumbers? I don't like cucumbers, they are. Nicole, you don't like cucumbers? I like cucumbers. Nicole, do you? Do you like cucumbers? No. Okay, maybe maybe your baby your baby brother baby brother that's coming will like cucumbers. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour just a little bit of water in this cup. Okay, you're gonna pour just a little bit, just enough to cover, cover up the the disc. A little tiny bit more. So you want to cover it up, okay? And watch what happens. Do you guys see mine? How mine is just covering it up? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of set it aside for now, okay? Just set it aside for now. And you can kind of watch what's going to happen because slowly this disc is going to start absorbing the water and it's going to grow seven times the size of the disc. So just keep an eye on it. In the meantime, we are going to sing a song because I need to sing songs. Okay. Who likes to sing songs? Me, me, me. Everyone? Okay. All right. Perfect. So, do you know Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? I do. I know Twinkle Twinkle. Everyone know Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Okay. Grow, so, this grow. song goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Song plan for us. 
Okay, so you're gonna hold your hand out. Can you hold your hand out like this? And you're gonna extend your hand like this. And it yeah. says, this is my garden. Can you say, this is my garden? This is my garden. And I rake it. So take your three fingers, you're gonna rake it with care. I rake it with care. And then I plant some flower seeds. Can you plant some flower seeds in your hand? Make sure you're planting those. And then put your hand out like this and you say, the sun will shine. Will you say shine. the sun will shine, will shine, and the rain will fall, and the, the rain, rain will fall, the rain will and then my garden will blossom and, and go straight and tall. Go okay, cool, guys. All right, that actually goes to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I'm actually going to turn it into a little storyboard here so you guys can see it for yourselves. So the first part was, this is my garden. Oh, actually, let's take a break. Look at your, can you hold up your dirt? So, so your dirt. Hold up your dirt. Is there any water left? No. Oh, no? Not much. Let's yeah. put a little bit more water no, in there and water. see if it grows a little bit more. So I just put enough water in the bottom so that it's just covering that bottom <laughs> ring down there. A little bit more water. Okay, isn't that unbelievable how much that grew? Okay, so I put a little bit more water at the bottom just to cover that bottom ring there. It's still sucking up the water. See how it's still sucking up the water? It's still sucking it up. And what we're doing here is we're putting water in the soil so you don't have to water it for a while. It is going to grow on its own until you replant it. Okay. So let's put a, just a tiny bit more in there, just a tiny bit more, and that should be enough, okay? So I put a little bit more on the bottom, and I'm going to let it sit for a minute, and we're going to do our storyboard. Okay, so here is my garden. It's so cool, isn't it, friends? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do our rhyme one more time, okay? Can you hold out your hand? Like we did before, this is my garden. Okay, so here's my garden, right? And then what do we do? We rake it with care. Can you rake it with care? Rake it with care. Look at here's my rake. I'm gonna rake it with care, just like that, okay? And then some seeds. Remember, we plant our seeds. Can you plant your seeds? Look at, here's some seeds. You see the three seeds on there? Okay. And then the sun will shine, remember? The sun will shine. Okay, oh, what's this? What is that? It's the sun. A giant sun? A giant sun. And then the rain will fall. And the rain will fall. The rain will fall. Look, there's our rain cloud. And then what will happen? And then it will grow big <gasps> and straight. Look, at, go, Look. Go big and tall. Okay. So you guys know what to do. Here's your plant. You know what? I may have put a little bit too much water in at that time. So I'm actually going to dump out the extra water in mine. But you may not have any extra water. If you don't have any extra water, that's okay. That's okay. All right. This is when it's going to get a little messy. Here's our plant. You're going to stick your fingers, these two fingers. See where there's a hole in the middle? You're going to kind of open that up. Finger up. Find the axe. Keep going. Over here. See that? That much? Yeah, that looks yeah, pretty. I kind of want to make a little hole. Keep your hands straight. You got it? Do you guys have it? A little hole in the middle? A little hole in can I tell you something else you can do that's totally up to you? Yeah. You can take this off if you want. You can take this little netting part off and stick the dirt right inside if you want. And I'm going to do that. See, I took it right off. We have to help me. We will take it off. And then you have like a clump of dirt inside. And then you can make another, you can make a little, you, what you want to do is make a little hole because that's where your seeds are going to go. Oh, yeah. Bless you. 
Okay. Now push down. Push in the middle. Yep, you can push it all the way down. Push it all the way down to the bottom and make a little hole like mine in the bottom. My hands are all dirty. I don't know about yours, but nobody said that gardening was clean. All right, you guys are doing such a good job. I see you all, okay. Now, if you want to take a minute to wipe off your hands, that is totally fine. Does anybody want to take a minute to wipe off your hands? We are, they are going to get dirty again, though, for a second. You know, actually, let's wait a second. Let's wait a second. Do you have your seeds? Does everyone have your seeds? Me. Okay, you only need about three seeds. I know there's a lot in there. I gave you extra just in case, but you only need about three seeds. And I, when I looked at these seeds, I didn't even realize they look just like the seeds that are inside of a cucumber. So you could probably take a seed out of a cucumber and dry it out and plant that too. So take three seeds out of your bag. Three, one, two, three. Can you count with me? Let's take, let's count them together. I'm gonna take one, two, three, three seeds. And you're gonna put them right inside your little hole in there. One, put it inside two, your three, right inside there. Okay, friends? Now you're gonna kind of cover it up with a little bit of dirt. Can you just cover it up so you can't see the seeds anymore? After you put them inside there? So look at, here's mine. You can't see my seeds. Did you cover them up? You did. Good job, Jackson. Good job. Good job. You did a great job. It looks like, oh, Connors looks great. Looks great. Looks good, Nicole. Looks good. How you doing, Evie? How you doing, Evie? Good. Okay, friends. You planted your seeds. So now you're going to take this lid. Do you have this lid? Awesome. And you, oh, we just lost Evie. And you're going to put the lid right on top. Okay. Now, how is your, how is the, um, you're going to put the lid right on top and then you can wipe off your hands. Looks like Connor's wiping up his little area that he was working on. Jackson's uh, putting his lid on. And then um, how are your planters doing? Are they dry or are they still wet? Mine's still wet. Okay, so let's give it a couple more minutes. And what we're gonna do is read another story. Okay, my next story is called Thank You Garden. And this is gonna talk a little bit more about how we take care of plants. Garden ready, garden new. So when, if you live in a city, there's not a lot, you know, you guys, do, does everyone have a backyard? Do you, you all have a backyard? So we all have spaces where we can plant our gardens because we all have backyards, right? Well, if you live in a city, they don't have backyards. They live in apartments and in areas that don't really have backyards. So they have something called community gardens. So a bunch of people get together and they make gardens together. So that's what this is. Garden so much, work to do. So you have a whole bunch of people that are getting together that don't live in the same house that are making gardens together and they share. It's pretty cool. Huh? Garden rock and garden water, garden sun and garden water. Garden dig and garden play, garden filling up the day. Garden bed and garden plot, garden proper, garden mat. You see in that corner, they are not gardening. What are they doing? Are they gardening? They're playing. That's what my kids end up doing. They just end up getting muddy and playing with the holes. Garden hardly makes a sound growing slowly underground. Have you ever heard a garden? You can't hear it. 
it's silent and it's growing underground. And then all of a sudden you see it, right? You see the green coming out of the ground. It's so, so cool. Sometimes rainy, sometimes dry. So if it doesn't rain, what do we need to do to take care of our garden? What do we have to do if it doesn't rain? How do we take care of our garden? How do we get water? How, where, how do we get it to, to be watered if there's no rain? A hose, good job, good job. Or a watering can, garden soaking up the sky. Ooh, I lost my page. Well, we were turning it anyway. Garden path means garden gate, garden wait. So now they're waiting for their garden to grow. And wait, and wait. Oh, that's the hardest part is waiting. I always tell my four-year-old, how do we wait? And he says, you take a deep breath and you count to four. Does anybody know what that's from? Daniel Tiger. <laughs> Garden frog and worm and bees. What else do you see? Do you see worms in a garden ever? Bees, bees love plants. Do you know why bees love plants? No? Well, bees help plants grow. We need bees, they help them grow. They help make our, our healthy fruits and vegetables. Garden berries, beets and peas. Look at finally, their garden grew and now they can eat it. Garden growing like a child, rosy, leggy, fresh and wild. Look at all that stuff. Flowers, fruits, vegetables. Wild in this muddy mess. Thank you, garden. So eventually it ends up looking like this. My garden every year ends up looking like this. And then, oops. We don't touch our garden. You don't touch it? We just let it sit and we water it. Does it yeah. Do you, have to be patient? do you have to um do you have to like clean it up sometimes like pull the weeds and no no okay yeah you must sometimes. have a real a lot of space only sometimes only sometimes mm -hmm. look at this what can we do with our garden after it grows we can eat it yes we can eat it we can make a giant salad and eat vegetables and fruit okay that's our story Okay, friends, um, are your pots close to being dry? If not, it's okay. Um, I'm just gonna tell you what uh, not dry yet. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what to do with your pots. So what we're gonna do wet. is, it's still wet, okay. We're gonna set it aside for a little while, okay? And um, I will tell all your grownups what to do with this as well, send them an email. We're gonna set it aside and let it dry completely. And then I'm gonna leave it up to you if you wanna put another coat on it so that it's um, like a, a brighter color or if you're ready to go. If you're ready to go, you have letters in a bag and those should spell your name. Okay, so what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna put those letters on your cup when it's dry, okay? When it's dry. And if for some reason your letters get, if, if a letter gets messed up or I missed one and I didn't give you the right ones, tell your grown up to email me and I will pull some new letters for you to make sure that you get those. Cause so when it's dry, that's when you put the stickers on the pot, okay? After that is done, you're going to take your plant and you're going to put it inside your pot. Like the pot is so wet too. I'm just going to hold it with a napkin. But you're going to take this and it's going to go in. You can even put it in there now if you want. You can put it in there now if you want. I know it's still wet, but you don't have to. So my pot, look at my plant is inside my pot. Got to put our cup in the pot like that. Okay. The last and most important step is you're going to put it somewhere sunny in your house. Okay. So put it by a, a very sunny, warm spot. If you have a window in your kitchen or maybe in, even in your, um, like your living room or like just a very sunny, warm spot. 
And we are gonna have to check the soil once in a while and make sure that it's, it's wet, okay? You don't want it to dry out and hopefully you'll end up starting to see something grow, okay? When you see something grow in there, that's when we're gonna probably have to move it outside and replant it so it grows bigger and bigger, okay? Well, Does anyone a, have any questions? I will email your parents yeah. or your grownups all of this information. Um, we have one question. Do you know when um they will grow? Oh, you got an E instead of an O. Yeah. yeah. Ah, are you going to be up to the library soon? I'm going to see yeah. if we have, I feel like we might have some phone letters. So I'll see okay. if I need it, I'll email yeah. you. I'm sorry about that. That's yes. Okay, I, um, I'm sure we have something. If, if you don't, I will put it aside for you if you guys okay. are going to be in the library. And then I could even set it up curbside where you could just drive right up and grab it. Okay, I'll let, so, I'll email you if I need so to. So sorry about that. Exactly. No worries. I was like going through so many of those foam stickers. Oh. And <laughs> <laughs> um, does anybody else have any questions? Me. Yes, Jackson. Um, do you know when they grow? It's going to take a couple weeks. I will say that you might see some growth within the next two weeks, and then it's going to take a couple hey, that's weeks. When my birthday is. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully it grows before your birthday. I, I really it's... hope. Evie, did you have a question? Do you have a question? Do you know? She wants to know if her playroom would be a good spot to put it because it's very sunny. Yes, if it's very sunny. Oh, keep this in mind too. Nicole, that looks great. Nicole's is all done. That looks great. If you have any younger siblings that could get to the plant, I would not put it anywhere because I have two older girls and a, and a younger boy. And every time they put things places where their brother can touch it, they get very upset. So if you have younger siblings, don't put it where they can find it. But if you have a sunny playroom and you can kind of put it up on a shelf, that is perfect. We got to put it where Max can't get it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Does anyone have any more questions? Okay. That is the end of our Let's Grow a Garden. I hope you guys all learned something. Does anybody want to tell me what their favorite vegetable is? Yes, Jackson. Um, I think it might be cucumber. Yes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Oh, I love tomatoes. I like tomatoes. No, my son doesn't like tomatoes either. It drives me crazy. Nicole, what do you like? Oh, I can't hear you for some reason. Uh, it doesn't look like she's on mute. But I can't hear her. You know what? You're going to have to come. You know what, Nicole? I see you all the time. So you're going to have to come in and tell me what your favorite vegetable is, okay? Does that sound good? Okay. All right, friends. Thank you so much for coming to Let's Grow a Garden. And I hope to see you all soon. And please let me know how your gardens are growing, okay? And Connor, I'll get you that O if your mom can't find one, okay? My garden is actually growing really well. Awesome. I love to hear that. Okay, friends. I'll see you all later. Thanks for joining Bye. me. Mommy, thank you. Okay, you want to hit the button? Okay, hit this button.